Okay, quick little thing here. I'm just cleaning up a couple of things before I start recording prep for my next main VJ video. When I built the palette, I did the memory line multiplexing with 74HCT157s. And when we actually got it fired up, we had a bunch of glitching on the screen and I switched them for 74LS157s. And they are quicker, but they're not perfect. There's still the odd little pixel where things don't look right. So I bought myself some ACT 157s, which will hopefully clean up all of those pixel glitch issues. Okay, I need to load something that shows the issue. So let's get the old parrots up. Okay, I am using the VGA capture device at the moment just because it makes life an awful lot easier for me. Okay, so I can see a few of those pixel glitches in the bottom right there particularly. A lot of it is down to the actual numerical changes going on. Let's see if these chips solve it. I'm going to be bold and uh, make this change without turning the device off. There's risk I'm kidding myself if I say I think there's less glitches there, but I think there is. That's interesting. There's definitely less there, but um, it's not entirely gone away. Ah, so moving that cap produced uh, a bunch of extra problems. Okay, let's try this a slightly different way. So I made some of these a while back. They are dip sockets with a decoupling cap built in. Okay, now that actually looks like it sorted it and I haven't done a second socket over here. I think I might have to make a few more of those up. Yeah, I don't see any more glitches. Okay, so what seemed to make the difference there is the ACT 157s really want the decoupling cap and a bit of rubbish on the power lines is not helping them at all. So I think I need to take that into account for some of the next uh, VJ circuit, which is partially why I was doing this. Won't be a problem on the PCBs though, because we always put decoupling caps right next to the chips. Okay, so I'll probably reference this video at some point in the next main channel one, but uh, hope this was interesting and I will see you soon. Goodbye.